All right, let's talk about blood pressure. You might be wondering why your blood pressure is high, so let's break it down. First up, stress. When you're stressed, your body releases hormones that can temporarily spike your blood pressure. It's like your body's way of gearing up for a challenge, but it's definitely not something you want in the long run. Then there's your diet. Too much salt can make your body hold on to water, which raises your blood pressure. Plus, if you're not getting enough potassium, magnesium, and fiber, that can also contribute to the problem. Next, we have obesity and physical inactivity. Carrying extra weight means your heart has to work harder to pump blood, and if you're not moving around much, that makes things worse. Smoking and alcohol are also big culprits. Both can temporarily spike your blood pressure. Over time, smoking damages your blood vessels, and too much alcohol can lead to long-term high blood pressure. Another factor? Age. As you get older, your arteries can stiffen, which can cause your blood pressure to rise. Family history plays a role too. If your parents or close relatives have high blood pressure, you might be more likely to get it as well. Chronic conditions like kidney disease, diabetes, and sleep apnea can also lead to hypertension. These conditions affect your body in ways that can make your blood pressure rise. Certain medications can be sneaky too. Things like NSAIDs, decongestants, and some antidepressants can raise blood pressure. Always check with your doctor if you notice any changes after starting a new medication. Hormonal factors are another piece of the puzzle. Changes like those during pregnancy or conditions like hyperthyroidism can bump up your blood pressure. And let's not forget, other factors like race and socioeconomic status can influence blood pressure. African Americans, for instance, tend to develop hypertension more often and earlier in life. So what can you do about it? Regular monitoring and making lifestyle changes like eating a balanced diet, staying active, and reducing stress can help manage and lower your blood pressure. And of course, don't hesitate to seek medical advice if you need it.